In 1 Kings chapter 10 and parallel chapter 2 Chronicles chapter 9, we find Israel at the height of their material wealth. Knowledge of God's blessings upon Israel and King Solomon had spread across the known world and the Queen of Sheba traveled to Jerusalem to verify all that she heard was true. She arrived with the pomp and circumstance expected of a queen, carrying with her much gold, jewels, and spices. And every question that she posed to Solomon, he answered. And the Bible says there was nothing that he didn't know. Back in chapter 3, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream and asked, what shall I give you? Solomon asked for wisdom to lead God's people. God was so pleased with Solomon's selfless choice that he gave him a wise and discerning mind. And in addition to this vast wisdom, God gave Solomon things he didn't ask for, riches and honor like no other king before or after him. The last half of the chapter speaks of Solomon's great wealth. Verse 14 says Solomon's annual salary was 666 talents of gold. Based on today's gold price per ounce, that calculates to over $1.25 billion a year. Gold was so abundant that silver was considered of no value. Solomon used gold to make shields and, and overlaid an ivory throne with gold. All of his drinking cups were made of gold. And after starting strong, Solomon's heart became prideful as he relentlessly pursued more power and wealth, which later began to lead him away from the Lord. God had warned the kings against these things in Deuteronomy chapter 17. He told them not to acquire many horses or buy horses from Egypt or to accumulate vast amounts of wealth. Solomon had amassed 1,400 chariots and 12,000 horsemen, and many of those horses were imported from Egypt. Solomon began to believe more in himself and his ability to acquire wealth and power than in the God who gave him the wisdom that allowed him to acquire those things. It was Solomon's sin that ultimately led to Israel's disobedience, eventually a divided kingdom, and finally their captivity. In John 15, 5, Jesus said, I am the vine, and you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that will bear much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Christian, don't forget that the things you have have come from a merciful God that loves you and has blessed you immensely. Live each day with a thankful heart. Have your eyes trained on him, praising him for his goodness and his blessings, recognizing that if it wasn't for him, you wouldn't have anything and would be nothing. God bless you.